has been your greatest satisfaction as a writer? You know, I think in terms of the writing itself, it's like my greatest satisfaction is constantly changing because it's it's usually like the last thing I wrote that I felt like was a good sentence or something. And then a few days later, I might hate it, you know? Yeah. And, or it's like, a book could be a great satisfaction until you read it again and realize that you're not satisfied with it at all. But there also is such satisfaction, and I mean, for me, it's like having a lot of really bad writing days in a row, and then, like, having a day that I'm like, that was all right. That feels very satisfying. Or to, like, have a really bad day and then push through and at the end of the day, like, end up n not having anything useful, except then at the end of the day you write, like, a, like one paragraph that's, like, you're like, all right, well, that'll stay. I find that really satisfying. You know, I find giving readings really satisfying. It's just nice. It's nice to have response. You know, especially, like, I'm working on a novel I've been working on for, like, three years. No one's really read it. I mean, people have read parts of it. And so sometimes it's, like, go out and give a reading, you read a part of it, and people respond. Like, that I find really satisfying. And, and I think that, you know, it's tough for writers. Not like if you're in a band, you can sort of go out every night and be like, look, this thing I'm doing is making people dance. And that's cool. Um, at the very least, it's like, it may not be changing the world, but, like, people are dancing. And, like, maybe they'll make out later, because they, like, had fun, yeah. you know? And I think that writers don't really get that satisfaction that much. You sort of just have to imagine that, that it's happening. Like, you really write a book and you're like, I imagine that someone's at home reading this, and they're, they're like, really cracking up, and they're, or they're moved, they're crying, you know, it's making them think of things in their own life. But that's, that's like a big jump to make that an imaginative jump, and it's, it's, it's hard to do, you know. And so I think any time you sort of get some kind of evidence of that is really nice. You know, whatever it, the form is, whether it's someone laughing during one of your readings or someone coming up after you and, and saying they found it moving or someone emailing you and saying they liked your book or a review or whatever. Like, because I really, I don't know, I, I do really buy into this idea of writing as, as communication and as art as a, as a sort of kind of communication. You know, this, this idea that, that sort of we create art because we're trying to represent something that we can't represent in any other way, that we can't represent by just saying we have to sort of create a narrative to try and represent it or, or use language. So I don't know. I mean, I think most of the time you sort of do that and you just don't know if it's work. 